Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in Durku, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got the sunshine. Happy Sunday, and welcome back to the grapevine. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and we have some students who would like to share their gratitude. Hey, awesome MVRHS teachers. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. You get an extra big shout out this year for being so amazing during these last couple of months with just rolling with it and still continuing to provide awesome education and support to our kids, so thank you. And thank you for being accommodating to the Tisbury School earlier this year. You've gone through a lot. It's been a really weird year. Great job. My name is Dorian. and this is my sister Anissa. And we're here to thank all the teachers and guiding counselors, everyone that works in this school that have been working their hardest to help us through this quarantine. And I'm just so thankful to have you guys help us with our learning and thank the people that is making the food for the people that doesn't have the financial condition to have it. And yeah, I just want to say thank you and yeah. Eu quero agradecer todos os professores que estão nessa quarentena ajudando nós na nossa lição de casa, ensinando nós. Também quero agradecer as mulheres que estão fazendo comida e também que sempre estão lá, lá de fora entregando comida. Quero agradecer a todo mundo e muito obrigada, estou muito feliz. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. sophomore at Martha's Vineyard Middle High School and I just wanted to take a minute and thank everyone for everything they've done to try to keep like students engaged during this time. Um, I know that um, you guys aren't going to get the proper thanks this this year because of this but I um, just wanted to take a minute and just say thank you for everything you guys have done. Um, and I miss you guys. I miss all my teachers. I miss seeing my friends, but at least we can still kind of stay in touch. But um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for everything you do. It really does mean a lot. All right, thank you guys. See you soon. I'm continuously impressed with the amount of time and energy that MVRHS staff puts into making sure all students are successful. Whether you're a teacher, a paraprofessional, counselor, nurse, custodian, food service person, or admin support person, we are all part of the very important job of educating and giving our students the vital knowledge they need to live and be successful. You play a significant role in the memories that students make while in high school. I appreciate all the extra things, those extra hours you work to ensure learning and to help our students to be successful. Thank you for everything you do each and every day that make MVRHS such a great learning community. Thank you so much to everyone at the high school, all the teachers, the guidance, the administrators, the assistants, the custodial staff, everybody working there. Um, appreciate you all so much. Thank you from the Edelmans. Hi, I'm VRHS staff. Just want to extend my deepest appreciation and thank you to you all on Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, obviously a huge shout out to the teachers, but to just all the staff, those of you who um, step up to either support teachers or step in as teachers. Um, thank you for all that you do for our kids. And then a special shout out for all of those who really um, even go above and beyond what teaching responsibilities are to help contribute to the general running and support of the whole school. There are people who do a ton to individually support students, not just academically, um, but also socio-emotionally, um, you know, working through challenges, helping them navigate conflict. For those of you who help us all with technology um, and data, for those of you who um, support one another by teaching new tricks of the trade and helping uh, people understand different practices. So many of you really contribute to just the general well-being of the school as a whole so that we can all do our jobs even better. 
So thank you all. Have a great week. Keep the faith with this crazy time, and hopefully we'll all be back together in the building soon. Thank, thank you, you, teachers. We'll, we'll miss you. you. Thanks, teachers. Good afternoon, teachers and staff. I'd like to give a shout out and thank all the teachers and staff for their hard work over this uh, crazy time period that we're living in. I want to thank the teachers for their juggling act and their flexibility throughout this whole thing. I know many of you are parents and you're serving as a high school teacher, you're serving as a mom and a dad. You are playing elementary school teachers as well as cooking and cleaning and doing all the other things that come up uh, with the job. So, great job and I really appreciate all your hard work and dedication you have to our students. I'd also like to thank the ESPs and the ASPs for their endless hours and, and hard work that they've been going on. I've been hearing great stories from families and staff about just going above and beyond the extra mile to reach out to those students that need a little extra love and care. Last but not least, I definitely want to thank our cafeteria staff, Mercedes and Kev and the lunch crew. You guys have been great. You guys are on the front line. You're out there serving every day. ESP is helping with that. And uh, it's definitely been dangerous. It's definitely been trying for your families. And I appreciate so much uh, your dedication to making sure that our families that need food during this time have it and uh, can continue on the best, doing the best they can. So. Just a simple thank you. We really appreciate your hard work and dedication, and uh, thank you in BRHS. We appreciate it. Bye bye now. I'm reaching out to you today to thank every MVRHS staff member, especially those in the front, them being Jessica Estrella, Julie Meter, Inez, Miss Dingledy. Also, I want to thank Mr. D'Andrea, our superintendent. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank the MVRHS community for all of the education and support that they have provided us for the past four years to help us become adults and get ready for college. I've been loved through every second of it and I couldn't be more appreciative, so thank you guys. Thank you, Project Mind teachers. Thank you to all my teachers, but especially thanks to Mr. Brown for being so passionate and dedicated to your job and always helping us and other students. I'd like to thank everyone who makes our high school possible, possible. You truly are amazing, and I'm grateful for that. Hello, MVRHS staff. I just want to take this opportunity to wish everybody happy Teachers Appreciation Week. I want you to know that I appreciate all the work that you do with our student athletes. I know that sometimes they can be difficult because of the time frames that they have with having to get off the island and missing class. So thank you for the time that you spend with them to help them make up their work and to give them every opportunity to be the best student athlete that they can be. So have a happy week and I hope to see everybody soon and hopefully we'll be back in the building in the fall. See you then. Thank you so much to all the teachers and staff at the high school. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. I would like to thank all MVRHS staff, but especially Mr. McCarthy, for completely changing the way that I think and see the world. So, thank you. I want to thank all my teachers for their organization during the school closure. Thank you to Brooke Hardman Ditchfield for inspiring all our children through theater and the arts. A huge thank you to our amazing teachers who do so much for us. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Ms. Flanders, Ms. Schubert, Dr. Filer for being such awesome teachers and shout out everyone else at MVRHS. Thank you guys. Thank you to all the teachers who are working hard to keep us or helped us um, educate us during this tough time. I wanted to thank Charlie Esposito for making the Performing Arts Center at the high school run so smoothly. It's incredible. Thank you, Charlie.
Thank you guys and thank you to all teachers. We appreciate all you do for us students. Next up, we have Mr. Warren with an update from administration. Good morning, MVRHS, Mr. Warren here. I hope this message finds you all doing well on this beautiful Monday morning. Well, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and I should acknowledge that in the event that tomorrow it's raining when you watch this. But in any event, I'm here to provide this week's administrative update or administrative shout outs. I wanna start by shouting out those students that we know are both working and going to school. We know it's difficult and we know the work you're doing is providing critical service to the people on the island. So for all of you that are working in the hospital, in the grocery stores, in the restaurants, with food delivery, we salute you. And please know we're here to support you in any way we can. And to the rest of you who are working so hard to navigate the unchartered territories of remote learning, keep showing up and doing your work. Stay connected. We will get through this together. It's now more important than ever before that we continue to engage and invest in our education and finish the year strong. So if you find yourself in need of any support, please don't hesitate to reach out, but we will get through this and we will get through this together. Lastly, and perhaps more importantly than ever before, I wanna take a moment to acknowledge our incredible faculty Monday marks the beginning of Teacher Appreciation Week. Now more than ever before, is it important for us to acknowledge the hard work and sacrifice of our frontline educators? Now this is not to say that you haven't always worked hard and that you haven't always been committed. We know that that is not the case, but we do know that recent events have called on a deepening of that commitment, on a deepening of that sacrifice, and on a deepening of the changes that come with education. So thank you for remaining nimble and flexible, for shifting your instructional practices from on the ground to online in order to continue to provide quality educational experiences to our students. You are providing perhaps the most important services all, with that, happy Teacher Appreciation Week, and I hope that everyone has an incredible, incredible week. Get outside whenever you can. Enjoy some sun whenever it's out. Be good to each other. Be good to your families. Take care. Thank you, Mr. Warren, and thank you to all students continuing to work during this time. Now here is Emily Gazaniga with the High School View. Hi everyone, this is Emily Gazaniga with a High School View weekly article update. This week we have Chloe Combra writing about the senior class's plans moving forward with graduation, and we have Asher Gates and Spencer Pogue writing about college decisions without having visited many of the campuses. If you're interested in checking out these stories, they'll be on the MV Times website under the Community tab on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. May has finally arrived and it's starting to feel like spring. We have some birthdays coming up and want to give them a shout out. Here are Haley and Hope to give the birthdays. <laughs> These are the upcoming birthdays. Paige Anderson, Luke Aldiri, Jonathan Norton, Connor McGrath, Larissa Oliveira, and Atlas Zach. Colin McNamee, Jacob Reese, Ian Amodio, Lily Tui, Annabelle Cotrere, Henry Prescott, and Nikita Viktorovich. Happy All birthday. birthday. Thank you, Haley and Hope, and happy birthday to everyone. Next up, we have Violet with the Virtual Coffee House. The Theater 2 class is now hosting Friday Afternoon Live, a weekly Zoom coffee house. If you're interested in joining as an audience member or a performer, please email me at 20cabotv at mvrhs.org and I will send you the Zoom link. Now here's a highlight from last week's coffee house. Help, I need somebody help, not just anybody help, you know I need someone when I was young, so much younger than today. I never needed anybody's help in any way. And now these days are gonna not so self-assured. Now I know I need you like I've never done before. 
Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being proud. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me? And now my life is changing so, so many. Thank you, Violet. That looks so awesome. Now we have Imani with a student council update. Hi, little student council update. Thank you so much to those of you that have gotten outside and started collecting trash. We've collected 35 bags out of our 100 bag goal, which means that we still need 65 more. So get outside and get cleaning. Tag at MV Cleanup on Instagram or our Instagram, MVRHS underscore. Also, we're still accepting videos for our thank you video. So make sure to get those in. They take like five seconds to make and they're gonna make a huge difference. So email those to mvthankyou at gmail.com. Thank you, Imani. Want an opportunity to give a helping hand to younger students in the community? Well, we have just that for you. Here are Jer and Jeremy Regan joined by Toby Roberts and Mr. Light to discuss it with you all. Good morning, MVRHS. I am here with the Regan twins and Toby Roberts to uh, discuss a new initiative that we would like to start with uh, a collaboration with the elementary schools. So here's kind of a, a rundown of how we, what we're looking to do. It's called the MVAR, MVRHS Mentor Program. And we are looking to partner with the elementary schools in grades kindergarten through fifth to try to mentor and just help the little guys as they work through their Zooms or just need, uh, you know, need somebody to talk to or read to or talk sports or music with. So um, I think it, it's a great opportunity for us to be leaders at the, at the high school and to just reach out and give a hand to the younger kids. Um, I'm here with freshman Toby Roberts and uh, he has already begun a little of this work and I'd like to turn it over to him to maybe let him explain some of the um, uh, items and things he's worked on since uh, he started his little campaign. Toby? So basically you just have like, you can take one kid and two or, two or one times a week basically, uh, just talk with them from their schoolwork or you can have them read you a book or you can just talk with them. It just really uh, lifts their spirits up during these times. Okay, great. Toby, that's, that's awesome. Uh, thanks for doing that. So what I need from you is just to, uh, if you're interested, Jared and Jeremy will talk more about this, but you can pick the school that you'd like to work with if, you know, maybe your alma mater, or you can also, um, you know, if you have a student in mind, you can go with that. But if not, we can assign you a kid that, that we reach out to. But um, any, um, any interest in this, uh, Jared and Jeremy will let you know how to get involved. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Light. Um, so this is a really good way of um, interacting with your community during this sort of time, um, especially since we all have a lot of time on our hands. So if you're interested in participating in this, you can either email Mr. Light or reach out to Jeremy or I um, personally, just through social media. If you have our numbers, you can text us. And um, if you have a certain school in mind, that you would like to um, participate with, then you can let us know that as well and we can try and get you hooked up with that school. Um, but yeah. All right, yeah, like Jared said, just reach out to either myself or Jared or you could reach out to Mr. Light. Uh, we just wanna get the list to be as long as possible. Uh, get a lot of mentors from the high school to help these kids out. And with that being said, I'd like to thank Mr. Light and Toby for joining us today for doing this. So thank you guys. Thanks for having us guys. Thank you guys. Looks like an amazing opportunity to get involved during this time when we were all at home experiencing online school for the first time. Now we have a blast from the past with Lauren and Vittoria interviewing high school alumni, Jason Davey and Aaron DeBancourt. Okay, um, I'm Erin. Um, I graduated in class of 2019 and I go to the College of Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm majoring in international studies. I'm Jason. I also graduated class of 2019 
and I go to the Virginia Military Institute, and I'm an English major. Uh, how did you change, or how did you choose your major? Um, I'm like really interested in learning languages and things like that. So I knew I wanted to work like internationally in some type of business and I still don't really know what I want to do, but I know I want to work like in an international scene. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, for me, I kind of just, well, at my school, there's not a whole lot of options for majors. And so I chose the one that best suited my interests. And I knew that if I were to transfer an English major would be an easy transition into a different major. Why did you choose that school? Um, well, my minor is Portuguese and there's not a lot of colleges like that offer Portuguese. It was really hard to find one. And I just loved my campus and everything. It's like in a small city, so it's not like too overwhelming, but there's a lot to do around. And I didn't want to be in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know, it's really fun. <laughs> I grew up going down to Virginia every year um, to this little town, Lexington. And it's like a little college town. And so there's Washington and Lee and Virginia Military Institute there. And I totally just fell in love with like the look of VMI. And I knew that it was an experience unlike any other in the country. And I am not the type of person who loves like a normal school system. Like that wasn't my strong suit in high school. And so I thought it would be a great opportunity to challenge myself, and be in, uh, unique environment. So what's one piece of advice you have for an incoming freshman? Um, I would just say to like get involved as much as possible. Um, at my school, like there's just so many different clubs and like things like I play club soccer there, but I'm also involved with like a bunch of like community service things and like it's just a great way to meet people, but also like instead of just going from class to your room to do homework, it gives you like some sort of, I don't know, thing to do throughout your day or during the week. And it's just a great way to get involved on campus. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I would say a couple things. Um, first, like, yeah, definitely get involved and make as many friends as you can. Uh, don't be afraid to like, you know, put yourself out there and meet new people because you're going to be spending a lot of time in that environment. You'll find that you meet a lot of people you might not have known and just make some good friends. And the other thing I would say is don't be afraid to um, change things up or take chances and try different things. That's what college is for. Um, I actually went in as an international studies major and switched to an English major. And I'm actually in the middle of a transition. I'm transferring uh, schools. And so like that's something like that kind of seemed intimidating at first, but I am just changing up my interests. I decided I wanted to go down a different path. And so that's what I'm doing. Great, thank you for coming today. Thank you guys and thanks Jason and Aaron for joining us this week to help answer questions. Lastly, we have Jackson to introduce a new challenge for you all to take part in. The new challenge is called MVRHS Making a Splash. Take a video and email it to rjo at mvrhs.org or send it to the Instagram at mvrhs underscore. Go to the beach, jump in the water. The best video may win something. Have fun and stay safe. Thank you, Jackson. We can't wait to see everyone's videos of you making a splash in the ocean. Thank you for watching. Follow us on Instagram and at COVIDFreeMV. And remember, you heard, you heard it, it on the, the grapevine. grapevine. <laughs>